If I'm going to stand here as a boss school girl, I will start. First of all, let me start by introducing myself. My name is Fatima Madabio, and I am 3919A. <laughs> Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, retired Brigadier Julius Madabio, my dearest husband, the former Vice President, Uncle Victor Fo. Thank you, sir, for honoring my invitation. The president of OBA, of course, a dear uncle, Mr. K. OBA. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to come here and address this gathering. Honorable ministers here present, the Minister of the South, Mr. Mohammed Ike Ali, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all my husbands of both school, I am your wife. And the most important thing here today, as we're here to fundraise, I'm also here to collect my dowry. <laughs> because as a matter of fact, to be honest, it's 10 years next year since I've become the, I became the first lady of uh, the heart of Julius Madabio when he graciously married me and made me his uh, life partner. But what both school didn't do is actually pay for my dowry. <laughs> so today, out of respect for everyone, as we are going to do the fundraising, now I want you to consider adding my dowry on the fundraising so that we'll live here with nothing less than five billion leons. Very small money. Come on, both school. I believe you can do better than that. Small money, five billion leons. That's small money. Now, before we go into money terms, because when it comes to money and both school, it's a very serious issue. The principal of this great school, Mr. Pakra, I know yesterday you tried so hard to explain the way we are going to be doing this thing today. Lisa, I have the game. And I come here with my own game. I have my game plan. Five billion is my game plan. If you have the Honorable Minister of Finance sitting right behind you, you know no form of tornado will move you because you are safe. <laughs> well, if you have the President who has graciously honored this invitation, and I found a way to coin it because I know when you say, both school, he's going to come, said, Mr. President, do you know both school have something on Saturday? Oh, what? I said, ah, they're planning to do some fundraising. But you know, I am very sure if you are not there, that fundraising will not be successful. Can you come? It's the best way to tell your husband, listen, I want you around me where I can see you. But to be able to pull off this whole thing, I had to call a dear uncle, Uncle Fuad. I said, Uncle, you know this boastful thing? Because I don't know how many people, how many of you understand that I am 3919A. That's the problem. I said to Uncle Fuad, I said, His Excellency, this is before His Excellency even said he was coming. I said to Uncle Fuad, His Excellency is coming to both school. And can you invite all both school guys to be there? Now I have to hold a lie to my uncle and I had to make that lie become true. So I went to His Excellency and I said, you know all your guys believe that you're going to be there? I said, and they're all expecting you, Mr. President. That's Mother Bio. If it's both school, believe you me, my biggest mates now both school. <laughs> they will be here. 2014 was the first time I had the opportunity to come here and uh, celebrate the Oba. It was new thing to me. You know, I'm, I'm a bush girl from, Bo um, from Konodi Street, so we're village girls. And um, 
while they were going around doing the parade and everything, and I thought, this is the only time you have to change what Oba looks like. This is the time you have to make the women of Oba understand their right. So when is the turn for His Excellency to go and uh, do his salute? They said to me, oh, you know, women don't go there. I said, excuse me, no, he never told me that I'm going there. <laughs> and I was standing behind His Excellency and he was confused, thinking like, what is she doing? <laughs> I said, I am 3919A, sir. <laughs> if you've accepted me as your wife, you will have to accept me as a boss school girl. <laughs> and from that day, I have looked forward to come here every year. I wanted to be here for Oba, and I wanted to see the joy in the faces of all the great people of this great school. And um, 2017, Unfortunately, His Excellency was not in the country and the Honorable Alpha Uri was then the president. And um, we were invited, so His Excellency asked me to come and represent him. So I came while we were here. The former First Lady was the guest speaker and she eloquently expressed how she wishes that she would have another or there will be another First Lady who will definitely do the um, keynote address for the future of her. And I was seated right where His Excellency was sit is sitting right now. And I said to her, Ma, look behind you, I'm sitting here because we're going to win the next election. <laughs> and she laughed. We went into the hall. And I was standing next to her. I said, this baton here, now forgive me, I want to say, I said, I may you come up or no. So now for person. And she laughed. You know, at that time, I had no doubt that His Excellency was going to win the election. I had no doubt because I saw the way Sierra Leone has resonated around this mother bio phenomenon that looks like a cultism where everybody is a pauper and you have to be pauper to understand what the election was about. But for Marabio to be that Mr. Paupa, he believes in the ghost school. And he believes that he has his boys, he has his seniors, he has his colleagues of ghost school that are going to be there and push this agenda. Because him becoming the president of this country is not only for him, but is to bring the glory that the ghost school is all about, training, leaders of this country. He craved to see a president that comes from the Bosch School. He wanted to be that man that would be the president that comes from Bosch School because this was the opportunity Bosch School had. And his campaign is not about him becoming the president of Sierra Leone. He said the Bosch School has to. It has to be Bosch School this time. It has to be Bosch School this time. That's when I realized that I have no match when it comes to Bosch School and Madabio. Well, they want to know. I mean, they know so. Just in case we're going to know something. If I'm in on a meet, I'm going to get for giving me small respect to. Now, I'm not the big one, but I'm going to give me small respect. I need to take care of the partners. Yeah? At this juncture, before we go, before we start this actual fundraising, I understand that both schools, they don't even know how to eat spaghetti. Right? <laughs> well, I just, I'm, I'm just asking a question. I, I know, the, one thing I know, when you talk about condo in both school, you know, we all know what condo is, right? But I can also assure you, even the seniors that are sitting up here, they, do, they still double when we go to functions. <laughs> Anytime you see someone going for Dublin, it's from the boss school. They do Dublin. That I can tell you. And if the food is nice, you know what you hear from them? They say this is Lopotic. So what's up? What's Lopotic? He said the food is cool. 
So the spaghetti that is here for you guys is lopotic. We just need to find a way how to cook the lopotic so you understand the lopotic. And Manabio told me when he was here and they needed to go out with no permission, they break band. Or sometimes you say, Beke, Beki, or you the kek, or you the go neke. That is when you know you have a family outside and you're tired of eating potato leaf that the water drips from the hand. <laughs> Especially if you are from one boy. You are expecting to eat only the remnants of the seniors. So you only have, you know, the drips of the water. I am 39.90, so I'm their senior. <laughs> right? But the one thing I know when it comes to discipline, you, there is no match for both school. And for you to leave, you need to have an exit signed by a senior or a teacher or principal for you to be able to go. But listen, before I leave here, there's two things I want to do. One is to go into the dormitory and check your boxes and see if you have cookie. <laughs> Just in case. If you do, I want to try this different pokey because I understand it's the most important food in both school. <laughs> when you come in, you have to come with pokey. <laughs> but why am I here today? If you're here to raise fund, you need a place to deposit your fund. And the safest place in this campus is called the Swiss Bank. <laughs> the few stories I've heard about this great school, you, I mean, it's so amazing. I understand when you want to go to the Swiss bank in both school, you have to leave all your outfit outside. <laughs> you know, and what I heard is when you are leaving the Swiss bank, you have to have the best perfume to rescue you too. What did they do there? So if we're going to keep what our money in the Swiss there? bank, that Swiss bank has to look good. So we want to thank the Badia project for making sure we will not only renovate the Swiss bank, but we will build more Swiss banks so that you guys will be safe. Our project today is really to raise funds for the teachers' quarters. You know, the greatest people on earth, the greatest people that God gave to us are teachers. Teachers, they sacrificed than our parents. They gave us knowledge, knowledge that we don't even know how we can handle them. Teachers, they will give you your knowledge and then you become somebody while they remain as teachers. So they're the greatest, greatest for anyone who is willing to sacrifice and give you knowledge for you to become a great person in society. That person is a selfless human being who will truly serve humanity. So our purpose here today is to be able to raise funds and make sure our teachers in this great school have the right facility for them to live here in both school. As we all know, both school is the greatest school, the greatest boys school in Sierra Leone. And because of that, I will now start by asking the old boys of both school, Every one of them, in fact, I have a motto today, but then the Minister of Finance said to me, don't worry, Madam First Lady, I will help you collect the money. Because I did not even want to accept a check. Nobody gives me a bounce check. <laughs> but both school being both school and true to their word and true to their honesty, 
because I know my husband is from the ghost school and he is the most honest human being I know in this world. I'm expecting all ghost school boys, senior, junior, and colleagues to have the same trait of honesty. We're looking for five million Leons, Your Excellency, five billion Leons, to be able to construct a place for the teachers to live, live on campus and live in a dignity way. And this will be a modern building of our 21st century. So we're looking for five billion Leons. Now, please, I am not calling you as a government worker, so don't say, well, because I'm a government worker, we are all both school students and, you know, I have to spend one day here. I have to come here and spend the day where I'll be in one of those classrooms and allow the teacher to teach me so that my 3990 will be legal. And it should be in, you know, wherever you put the numbers for the students so that when I'm saying 3919A, Marabio will not take it from me because he'll be given to me by both school. As of now, he only just rented the number to me. So for me to be able to have that number as my number, please help me build this school. This, this, uh, um, why we're here, help me raise the fund for us to be able to build this building for our teachers, the, great, the greatest human beings on earth. I don't want to call you by your name, but I would appreciate if you just show your hand, or I will call you by your name. If I can tell you about Swiss Bank, just know I know every one of you.